Greetings from the Unova region. I'm Scythe, and we're finally starting this series. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a huge reason why we didn't really start this for quite a while. Um, one, my methods of recording have changed. Two, headset broke. And three, just emotional uh, things going on at the moment. But we're going to start. Um, I've already taken care of the save data. It took me a little bit to figure out where exactly you needed to do it on this one. But, eh, we got the cartridge. So we'll just get started. And we'll hopefully get to, through all these notes I'm making, I made. Hi there. Also, may have to adjust some more volumes again, because apparently I'm still really, really loud to myself. Which is fine. Usually I'm really, really quiet. Nobody tells me this for, like, eons, and then it's just like... Yeah, you, you just go through an entire series where nobody gives you any feedback on how sound settings are, and it's just like, it's fine for some people, bad for other people. But digress, let's continue. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everybody calls me the Pokemon Professor. Everybody calls a lot of people a Pokemon Professor. That's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have, been, have mysterious powers to come in many shapes and, and live in many different places. We humans happily live with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research. I do research. I know I could have just stated that line as it was, but uh, I like ad living sometimes. Well, that's enough from me. Could you tell me about yourself? So, this is not actually my main cartridge. I still have that save file elsewhere so we're just gonna pick uh, Hilda here and go with our original plans for how this series was gonna go Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. Because I totally forgot it for some reason. This young man is Sharon. Did I say that right? I, I feel like I'm going to pronounce names wrong again, and it's just like one of those situations where I, I get caught up in trying to pronounce somebody's name for a while, and it's just like... He could be a little difficult, but he's an honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty. But she works very hard. I think you have... I think you three have... Uh, blah. I'm already tripping over my words. Great! Just not started yet and tripping over things. Hooray! I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Luna. The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. Really hope what you find what is important to you in all these travels. That's right, be fan, new people and Pokemon, and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. 
Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Once again. For the, like, the third time. Right, so... I briefly touched on what, uh... Reasons this series got delayed so much. But another reason was, um... I wanted to finish the thumbnail first. I never got around to finishing that thumbnail. Then my hit, then the cable broke during lunar nights. I know it's just a micro USB, but it took a while to actually locate somewhere because everywhere was trans, like going, getting rid of them, and just like only USB C was a thing, and. Of course, I don't know where I got my current cable from, and I don't know if I could ever replace it now, because I don't know if anywhere sells micro-USB s still. <sighs> so, yeah, that's a thing. And then... My headset broke during um, Battle Network 3. That's why that hasn't continued in a while. I actually like that headset. I'm pretty sad it broke. This new one is okay, but it's like... Kaboom! I heard from Professor Judaberg. We can have a Pokemon? What's keeping Bianca? Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca. I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time, but seriously! Today's a day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I know, I'm sorry Luna, sorry Sharon. So where are the Pokemon? I would assume they're in the gift, that gift box. They were delivered to Luna's house, so Luna gets first pick. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Luna, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to beat the Pokemon right now. So we could move around and uh, be like, Nope, I'm out of here. Where are you going? <laughs> I brought three Pokemon, one for for you and each of one of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Professor Juniper. I realized that I had lived that entire thing, but the, the sentiment was still there. Anyway. <clears throat> Beside the point. We're going to instantly the Sniva here. Again, not really making any different choices from my original run, but at the same time... Okay, I'll take this one then. Sharon, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick out mine? Oh, never mind. I wanted to pick from the start anyway. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca, even though you're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Don't be a worry, Bort. These little ones are weak, like you said. You have to let them battle so they get stronger. It's settled, Luna. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Inside a house? Are you mad? Uh, whatever. Anyway, um, so let me go over my battle policy while we're in this battle. Um, so, generally, we are going to follow the, the same battle policy as before, where 
My entire journey will be tactically displayed, but if it involves grinding or like serious backtracking, it should actually be cut from the uh, the episode. But if it's just me traveling to one place to another during the game, then I'm not gonna worry about like. any reasons to cut anytime soon. It'll make episodes a lot easier to edit, etc. Mostly because I haven't really also been good at keeping track of what to keep and what not to keep in an episode sometimes. And I just skipped that entire dialogue box. Hooray! Oh, jeez. Oh, wow! Luna, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell. No doubt. Uh... Bianca, would you take a look around? Whoa, what happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong! I'm so glad I get to have a Pokemon. Surprisingly, the electronics are saved. Oh, uh... Sorry about your room. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Yours need to be fixed up too. Hey Sharon, why don't you battle? How about you battle too? That's all you know. I'm sure you could battle with turn without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. But the room's already a disaster! I believe you're right. There'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Since it's already a mess. Besides, it's not fair that... If you two are the only ones who get to have fun fighting... It's decided. You'll be my opponent. In our first Pokémon battle. Let's see what you could do, Tepig. Why me? Anyway, yeah, we get our first two battles out of the way. Ah, this just feels weird to commentate right now. But at the same time, it's better that, that I get back into it and get back into the flow, and it's just like, whoa, nice critical hit. Now, is there anything else to bring up before this episode ends? No, I think I'm good. For now, anyway. Probably gonna play with more of the offsets of the uh, the screens, but how I have it now should be good now. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. Get instantly a thousand for both of these battles. Starter cash. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I better come too. Hey, help me clean up at least. Do I get any like... Yeah, for some reason the, the electronics didn't get uh, damaged. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries. I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet P Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. 
I'll be waiting for you in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh wait, I gotta go home first. Thanks for having us over. Really? Is it fine? My, my, Luna. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear from down here. That sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that I didn't get it healed again. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going to go out, don't forget your tr cross transceiver. You're going to thank the professor too, right? Well, of course. Better get going. I don't think I have anything for my uh, bottom screen yet, but... Ah, right, that thing. We'll, we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, why? I have no idea why I'm using the D-pad. Well, it is technically easier to use it, but at the same time, on a 3DS, it's a little bit um, stiff. At least on the, this particular one. So it's just like really like hard to move around in things. And if you're wondering why I'm just wandering about randomly right now is because I'm trying to get used to the D-pad, circle pad. Like this 3DS doesn't really get much use anymore, so it's just like not as, like, used as my original one was. No, I actually played this on a DS. Anyway. I'm sorry, but could you go go to Bianca's house? I bet she's spacing out like she usually does. She's totally flighty. Oh dear. Left or right? I'll go right first. Nope, wrong house. Ah, uh, I don't need to know the Venture's rules. The X button is vi vitally important for trainers. Never forget that. It opens your cat menu. Nobody calls it a cat menu anymore because, you know, reasons. But it still opens that cat menu. You should remember that. <laughs> no, no, a thousand times no! But I'm... I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I could totally go on a venture. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in the front of the lab, okay? Uh, something tells me it was not fine. <sighs> what nonsense is this? How could my daughter, who knows nothing about the world, be going on a journey with Pokemon? Um... Reasons? Yeah. Anyway, we'll just finish whatever is going to be at the lab and then. Okay, let's go meet the professor. I could have talked to Bianca first, but. I think she would have just pushed us into the lab, too, so... Hi there! I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper? We know your name. 
Come, come, Sharon. This is not the... This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I'm researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's unusual. You already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why it feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. Begun. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Uh, yes, but I'm terrible with nicknames. Uh, you're not planning to use a nickname? Well, that's fine too. We could also always change it later. As for why I gave all of you a Pokemon. It's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I'm astonished. Nice work, Sharon. You've already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter in the region. So I wanted you three to visit many places and meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Luna, Sharon, Bianca, you will go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Yes? I could also say no, but I think you're forced into saying yes, but... No! Here's what I need from you. What I want to hear are the courageous words of people who will blaze new paths around the world. I want you three to travel to many distant places and meet all the Pokemon in the Univer region. Yes! Oh, wait, I just... <laughs> I think it's just going to cycle through that text over and over again until you say yes anyway. I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer. Exactly how I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. And we get the Pokedex. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Meet me at Route 1, okay? Since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out why I want to... What I... Bleh. I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want. While we complete the Pokedex. Oh, I'm in control again. Come on, Luna. Luna, wait up. Oh, there you are, and what did the professor have to say? She has to complete the Pokedex? I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. This is why I brought you three t Yeah. This is why I brought you a town map. For one of each of you. Take them with you. I'm ad-libbing a lot. Here you are, Sharon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Thank you so much. As for your room, Luna, or what's left of it, no need for you to worry about it. I'll take care of tidying up, as I stated before. Okay? Yeah, sure. Ah, Pokemon. They're so cute. But they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They are really something. With Pokemon like that at your site, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your par parents know. I hope that, in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you'll like to... You like in the universe region. Yeah, I'm just tripping all over my words. And become wonderful adults. Have a great trip! If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. And that's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? 
The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go! Luna, hurry and come too, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Jeez. Luna, it's this way! Bianca says if we're starting a new journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, Luna. Let's all take our first step on Route 1 together. Okay, here we go. One, two. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? Yeah, you're, you're getting a little bit too excited. It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokedex pages update automatically when you meet a new Pokemon. Moreover, it set up you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to disseminate demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon, even though you probably know about this all already, but I'm just going to run it again, just, you know, for basics. Ah, repeated tutorial is always fun. Use a Pokeball after lowering its HP. Which we don't have any currently. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the HP. Pokemon still, that still have a lot of it, their energy left are difficult to catch, but still possible to catch. If you can, use your Pokemon's move to make the Pokemon you want to catch fall asleep or paralyze it. And to wrap this up in the best way, I have a gift for you. Some Pokeballs. I think you only get six here. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Akimula Town. Oh boy, town names. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump at you at, in the tall grass. I'm heading to Akimula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen. Luna, Sharon, I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I imagine the professor's waiting too. Would you listen for a sec? Seriously. Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Ha. Huh. Actually, that sounds interesting. It'll fill up Pokedex pages, so I'm willing... So I'm sure it'll please the professor too. Okay then, till we reach Accumula Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Oshawa will do the will do the best for sure. Yeah. Tripping over words still. Can I save now? Yes, I can. Alright, so I'm going to end things off for this episode. At least. And then I'll pick it up from here next time. So tune in again for more.